Until 20 years ago, the prevailing theory for how the earliest human settlers arrived in America came down to one thing, big game. It was thought that humans followed megafauna, such as mammoths and bison across the Bering Strait and through an ice-free corridor down into North America around 13,500 years ago. These early humans, the Clovis, left behind spear points with telltale grooves, evidence of their big game hunts. But this theory collapsed when evidence of human occupation dating to 14,500 years ago was found at the Monte Verde site in Chile, a thousand years before Clovis points appear in North America. This gave rise to a new theory, that humans may have traveled by boat, starting in Beringia and sailing down the coast some 16,000 years ago. Since the discovery at Monte Verde, researchers have turned their attention to the Pacific coast in search of early sites. Cedros Island is practically brimming with archaeological evidence for an early American culture that had mastered coastal environments. Stone tools and clamshells found at several sites on the island were radiocarbon dated to between 11,000 and 13,000 years ago. Not quite pre-Clovis, but getting there. In the hunt for evidence of these early settlers, researchers have been searching not only on land, but also under the sea. As the ice sheets covering North America began to melt around 16,500 years ago, the sea level rose 120 meters, likely swamping any early settlements along the Pacific coast. To uncover these drowned settlements, researchers tried to deduce the location of these settlers' most important resource, fresh water. They started mapping the ocean floor off the coasts of Oregon and California, in search of evidence of ancient riverbanks and estuaries. By taking core samples of the ocean floor where these riverbanks lie, researchers hope to understand these lost environments and perhaps even eventually find evidence of early human occupation. As the glaciers melted and sea levels rose, parts of the coasts of British Columbia and southwestern Alaska rose as well, no longer bearing the weight of the massive sheets of ice. The consequences of this geological quirk can be found on Calvert Island where the sea level rise was as little as two meters, leaving easily accessible evidence of coastal settlements. Here researchers found 29 footprints preserved in clay, buried underneath a half a meter of soil. A piece of wood embedded in one of the footprints allowed them to date the footprints to just over 13,000 years ago. More evidence has been found on nearby coastal islands. 12,700-year-old spear points left over from a bear hunt and 14,000-year-old stone tools left next to a hearth. Clues that the first Americans made their way down the coast by boat continue to present themselves, but archaeologists aren't ready to confirm the theory just yet. A string of well-documented sites along the coasts of southwestern Alaska and British Columbia, dating back to at least 15,000 years ago, and extending through time down the coast, will be needed to truly prove the coastal migration theory. Until then, archaeologists in both North and South America will continue the hunt for signs that the earliest Americans were, indeed, a seafaring people.